We're here at the National Farm Machinery Show and joined now by uh, Scott Cully from Syngenta. And we're not talking farm machinery, we're talking foliar fungicide. Welcome to Real Agriculture, Scott. Well, thanks. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, now, you've just talked to a group of people here today about a new fungicide that Syngenta is bringing to the market, Trivapro. Um, Going to debut this year, 2016, in Canada. Talk a little bit about it. What's for, let's let's start it off uh, with the active ingredient. What, what, what's in it? Okay. Well, Trivapro is a new foliar fungicide, and uh, it's it's special because it's got a brand new active ingredient um, that we're combining with some other known active ingredients that we've been using. For, for quite a while in uh, corn, soybeans, and wheat. The new active ingredient is called Salatinol, and uh, it was registered um, a little bit earlier this year. And uh, it is an SDHI uh, chemistry, and it's going to be really good at controlling many of the diseases in corn, uh, such as northern corn leaf blight, rust, gray leaf spot, and many other diseases that we deal with in corn. Now. You, uh, it's going it's to it's be registered for corn, soy, and wheat, but we're going to talk mostly about corn because that's a lot of the work that you've done. Sure. Um, what I heard from the presentation was long-lasting control, big residual here. It's going to have great residual. What's special about Salatinol is the fact that it's highly active. It's one of the highly, most highly active molecules that we've ever tested. Um, every bit of the product goes to work to either control the fungus or actually sit on the leaf in the waxy layer of the leaf and wait for fungus to come in to where it is actually there sitting waiting to, to control it when it does come in. This combined with its high intrinsic activity allows it to have a very long lasting uh, control window. So we're basically seeing this product last and control disease in corn and other crops for two weeks longer than anything else that we've ever applied. Right. Now, and it's all about keeping the health plant healthy right in the grain field, right? It's all about plant health, keeping that machine working, keeping that factory producing carbohydrates that goes into the grain fill, that goes into making a, a bigger ear, more bushels. We've seen some significant yield increases uh, from, from this product, uh, yield increases like we've never seen before. Right. Now you said, I think in your presentation, 35 days residual, right? Is that we have 35 to 42 days residual on many diseases. Now after 35 days, it'll start to break a little bit, but it still maintains a level of control all the way out past 42 days. Let's talk about northern corn leaf blade, a big problem, in, a growing problem in Ontario, for example. Um, you've got some good activity on that. We've got very good activity on northern corn leaf blight. Again, we've, we've combined the slotinol with with uh, quadris and tilt and um, the, the rates would be four ounces 4.1 ounces of slatinol and uh, four ounces of tilt and four ounces of, of quadris um, by combining these three products all three products have activity on northern corn leaf blight the slatinol has a much higher level of activity again than many of the products that we've ever seen before and by combining these three actives together we have absolutely the best package for control of northern corn leaf blight and a product that's going to control northern corn leaf blight for at least two weeks longer than anything else that we've ever used before now you've been working with the product in the field, certainly in the last year. Um, from what you said, its uh, application timing is, you know, from V4 right to R1. Talk about what you're seeing in the field, and you know, some maybe some of the tips for growers. Sure, we've made some early applications. Um, probably the the best time to apply it is more closer to that R1 timing, um, either right before or just a few days after that. We've seen the most benefit at that time. Of course, that's when the disease really comes in because that plant switches over to start producing food for grain fill and really opens itself up for disease to, to come in and, and attack the plant and by protecting at that time making that application just prior to when that disease starts to really take hold we we show the best control and probably the most benefits from this product you spit you did talk specifically about northern corn leaf blight and you know maybe some of your application timing on that yep uh, the application on that would be when when we start to see disease we need to scout our fields uh, we need to look at our forecast 
and once the disease is imminent um, and going to going to take hold in the plant, we want to get out there and make our applications. Even if we're before, uh, prior to tassel or R1, as long as we're getting out there in a timely fashion to control the disease, um, is you know scouting, making sure that we're out there and trying to stay ahead of it is the best best method of control. Now you had some yield numbers. So I mean, how does it, how, how's it stacking up against the checks and uh, I guess the competition? Yeah, we've seen we've seen in disease complexes with with uh, rust, gray leaf spot, and northern corn leaf blight um, down here in, in the south and in, in our area in Illinois and in Indiana we've seen yield increases all the way up to uh, 60 bushel increases over the untreated check and in some instances where we had southern rust come in we saw severe lodging and one thing Triva Pro protects is the stalk and the rest of the plant and keeps it intact and where we did see severe lodging we had yield losses all the way up to over 100 bushel per acre that we couldn't pick it up off the ground but the Triva Pro uh, plots uh, maintained their stand and were really easy to harvest. We were able to go right through them with a combine and uh, basically pick up 100% or get 100% of that grain in the tank where we needed it.